screaming. I got the pedal all the way, almost all the way down. Should you buy this car? I don't know. You tell me after watching this video. in the market for a daily driver I strongly consider purchasing or looking at the 2020 Toyota Corolla its ride feels nice go over bumps it's not too jarring at all it doesn't shake after going over a hole with a bunch of shakes after the fact and its handling's pretty good now uh, to those who are not car enthusiasts and not necessarily understanding What's being referred to when we say handling is how the car feels when you drive it. For instance, when you're in a turn, you're taking a turn and the car is leaning in the opposite direction. That's poor handling. The flatter it stays in the turn, the more comfortable it feels. So that's deemed good handling. Like I mentioned when earlier, going over bumps. You don't want to have a, you go over a pothole. You don't want the car to continue shaking after the pothole you wanted to quickly deal with the pothole and get back to the car feeling stable so that's another characteristics of a characteristic of handling another characteristic is the steering feel how it feels when you when you turn how much steering input is needed for the car to respond and do you feel confident in a turn now this is not a corvette <laughs> all right or you, whatever sports car you like out there. This is not a sports car, but for what this is and the type of steering that it has, it makes this car fun to drive. Like I'm in the turn right now. She feels fine. She feels fine. Not too much lean to the left when I'm making that right turn. So she feels comfortable. And uh, that's what I'm referring to. That's what folks refer to, car enthusiasts refer to when we say car car handling now let's try to do it hard see comfortable comfortable not too much lean i feel confident in the turn just went over some bumps there not too much bounce after the fact so these are things that can take into consideration when you're purchasing a car because you don't want to drive a car where you feel like it's a bunch of work going on you want to get in the car get to where you're going and don't feel beat up by the time you get to your final destination so setting up your Android phone is pretty simple I don't have an iPhone but I know I saw Apple play so I'm pretty sure it's just as simple to set up your iPhone yeah, let's see what the acceleration is okay, not too bad she's screaming I got the pedal all the way, almost all the way down. Okay, I threw that miles an hour. Pretty fun. Well, fun for a car that's a four cylinder. Coming up to a light. I'm gonna go ahead and put the brakes on kind of last minute to kind of see what she feels like. Oh, there's a car in front of me, so I don't want to do that. There we go, yeah. Smooth braking. So in the lower right hand corner, you'll see where it says rear, and then it has three icons of folks with seat belts off. That's great for parents. trips miles per gallon and your current as you can see where it says now so if you're looking for something that's fun uh, relatively inexpensive and your overall total cost of ownership is low this is the car for you she has pickup she has great gas mileage she has great handling, great brakes. And I'm shocked to be honest, these brakes, I didn't think these, I don't know what's going on with these brakes. I mean, it feels so good. 
did I get a freak car out of the out of the, all the Toyotas made? Because the brake is so well on this car.